Sports Talk, what's up, man? What's going on? What's up, guys? Welcome to Sports Talk with your boy, Rico. How you doing? We, we're live today, man. We, we're dropping... We dropping content. That's what we're doing today, man. This is this is a, this is the third show. Hey, we doing it up, man. <laughs> we got the drink on deck. Uh, uh, more cups coming, you know what I mean? Hey, um, right. Ac according to uh, um, um, Jenna Bush. That's 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 Bush boy Bush Hager. Uh, she's married. This is this cookie. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Mm, good. Yeah. Jenna Bush Hager, who's married to, uh, well, George, uh, George Bush's daughter. She's very nice, by the way. I met her a few times when I was in New York. She used to work for NBC. Um, one second. Drowning tonight. Well, yeah. She said Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey, Travis Kelsey are engaged. And they're buying a home. They're looking for a home together to buy. Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift getting a home together. Engage, ready, you know. Now, to me, man, Kelsey, <laughs> he, he, you know, he's, he's a great receiver. But I thought, thought that he, um, when he was using, he was, he was with the, um, the ex girlfriend, Nicole, Kayla Nicole. You know, he was all on the DM, liking every picture, everything she posts. He was liking it. Everything she posts, he was there liking it. You know what I mean? And then one one of her friends, you know, one of his friends said, yo, what are you waiting for? And 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 she, you know, she slid to his DM. She sent him a message around New Year's and they talked, they, they started dating, but I thought when he was dating, he was acting like a you know, he was doing everything to 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 look like a black dude, to act like a Puerto Rican, <laughs> you know what I mean? But then they broke up. He, he went back to he went back to being white. He, 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 you know, he changed he changed everything. He changed everything. But now he's he's engaged. He did it together for five years. I mean, it happens sometimes. I'm not gonna add that Rugman, but it's good cooking. But listen, Taylor Swift she's not that talented. Yeah, I mean, people giving her credit, people are going crazy or too sold out, all that stuff. It's just people trying to make sure she sound more record than Beyonce. But she's trash. Her music is, you know, anyway, let me, this is Paul, so let me, let me, let me focus on, 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 on Kelsey real quick. So, you know, he's a great tight end. He's a great tight end. Um, he played one game in, in 2013 with, with, with the Kansas, Kansas City Chiefs. And 2014... Uh, yeah, um, uh, 16 games, 67 reception, 862 yards, 1212 12, 12 yards, 12.9 yards per carry, per, um, per receiving, right? Per reception. His longest was, was 34, five touchdown, right? Uh, 45 first down, which is a uh, total of 67, 67%. Um, Oh, anything over 20 yards, he had 15, 15 reception over 20 yards. That's it. That was, that was in 2014. 2015, of course, he played 16 games, 72 reception, 875 yards, um, uh, um, 
you know, you had Tyreek Hill, all those guys back then. So, of course, you know, uh, um, he wasn't like that. 12.2 yards um, average. His longest was 42. Five touchdowns, 41st down, which is uh, 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 so a total of 55.6%. Um, anything over, he, he had 10 catches over 20 yards and one over 40, right? Um, 2016, 80, 85 yards. I mean, 85 reception. He played 16 games. 85 reception. 1,125 yards. 13.2 average. The longest he had was an 80 yard bomb. All right? Four touchdowns. 55 first down. 64% reception. 64.7 reception. And it, um, over, he had 14. 14, 14, uh, 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 um, 14 plays, 14 catches over uh, uh, over 20 yards, three over 40, over 40 plus, All right? 2015, I mean 2017, 15 games, right? He played 15 games, 83 reception, 1,038, 12.2, 12.5 yards, 44, the longest he had was 44, eight touchdowns. 55 first down, 66.3 we, uh, 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 we um, first down, 19, 19, uh, um, 19 plays, over, 19 catches over 20 yards, 1 over 40 plus. 2018, 16 games, 102 reception, 103 reception, 1,336 yards, right? Uh, average 13. 13 per catch, right? 13 yard per catch. Uh, for the longest was 43. 10 touchdown. 68 first down. 66 uh, uh, percent, uh, percentage. Uh, first down percentage, 66 percent. 66%. Um, anything over 20 yard, he had 18. Over 40 yard, he had 2. 2019, played 16 games again. Now, it's, so yeah, he's doable. He is doable. He's a great. He's a great receiver. Um, great tight end. You got uh, uh, to give him credit, right? Ninety-seven reception, one thousand two hundred twenty-nine yards, twelve twelve point seven um, yard per catch, right? The longest he had was forty-seven, five touchdown. The touchdown took a dip. You know what I mean, sixty-five percent, sixty-five first down, which is sixty-seven percent. Anything over twenty. He had he had thirteen. Anything over forty, he had three, three catches over forty yards. Twenty twenty, he played fifteen games, one hundred and five reception, one thousand four hundred and sixteen yards, thirteen point five average, forty five. The longest, the longest um, uh, 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 reception was. Was 45, 11 touchdowns. So, so the, 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 there's a big jump from 2019 to 2011. You know what I mean? For, for so 20, 2020 and, and, and 2018, of course, he, he he had double digits, right? And his career, if if you look at Cassie's career, 2022, 2020, and 2018, those are those are the time he had double digit, digits on uh, uh, um, touchdowns. Right, um, so so yeah, so he had was a twenty. I was talking about twenty twenty, right? Twenty twenty, um, we had thirteen forty five, eleven touchdowns, seventy nine first down, which is seventy nine seventy five point two, put uh, first down percentage. Twenty three, anything over over twenty plus yard, he had twenty three catches over right. Anything over forty, he had two. Twenty twenty one, sixteen game, ninety two reception. 1,125 yards, 1,200, 12.2 uh, per, uh, per, per reception, 69. The longest, he had a big bomb for 69 yards, um, nine touchdowns. It was one one shot away. You know, he had a fumble. Uh, uh, what, what, but that ball could have been his, but he, he dropped it. Uh, he, he could have had 10. So in the long, uh, first down, 62. Uh, first down percentage, 67.4. Uh, anything over 20 plus, he had 13. 
over 40 plus he had he had two right uh 2022 17 games because you know of course the game you know uh, we, we, the, the season changed to, to from 16 to 17 games he had 100 and, 110 catches 1338 yards average 12.2 yards uh, per catch um, the longest bomb he had was with 52, 52 yard catch. He had 12 touchdowns, 78 first down, which is 70.9%. 70, 70, Anything over 20 plus yard, he had, he had 19 catches over 20 um, plus. Uh, anything over 40, he had two. There were two 40, uh, uh, 40 plus. Of course, two, uh, uh, two bombs, whatever he had, right? 2023. Which is you know you know current uh, fifteen games because you know he was hurt he played fifteen games ninety three reception nine hundred eighty four yards um, average ten point six right the longest he had was, was a fifty three yarder bomb five touchdown fifty first down which is fifty three point eight percent anything over twenty yards he had twelve there's twelve times he, he, he caught the ball over twenty yards and two times over forty yards. All right, again, he's a great receiver. He's a great, he's a great uh, uh, tight end. I'm not, I'm not taking away from uh, from, from uh, him being that. All right, he also have a great quarterback. Great cooking, man. I, I, I eat it. All right, he have a great quarterback giving him the ball. Now. Those numbers I just read to you with the exception of, of 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Because he was hurt. He, he, he would have been a thousand yards this year if he wasn't hurt. So those are good numbers for a tight end. That's all you need. That's all you need. You know what I mean? That's all you need. You know, so he, he's, he, he, he's able to put his, he put himself in a position to, uh, to, to, to win. Even playoff, he's a, you know, he's a, he's, you know, he's a big factor in, 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 in that. The team is able to step in. Um, you know, that's it. But, the, the but the thing, like I said, it, it just said, um, him and, him and his girl, they got engaged. That, 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 that's that, according to John Bush. They got engaged. They get him. They, they're gonna get married. Uh, uh, um, which is good for him. Which is good for him. Uh, um, but I just felt that with the with, when he, when he was dating Kayla, uh, I felt that he was using her for clout. He was using her for clout. You know what I mean? He was using her for clout. And that's all it is. He had an opportunity to, to, you know, to be with her, you know, whatever. He was using her for clout. That's all. Now you have Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift. They, 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 um, they, they're looking for a home together. Uh, um, getting married. They're about to get married. Hey, uh, I think I think that uh, um, again, he, <laughs> his can probably put put them together. Cause they're not a good. When you look at it, you say, like, "Wow, uh, um, this is not who. This is a guy who normally date black girls. All his girlfriends, so all, all his ex girlfriends are black girls. From college to <laughs> into the pros, all his girlfriends are black girls, and then he, you know, boom! All of a sudden, he's with Taylor Swift." So you like you gotta look at it as a, you know they they put them together because because you know a lot of times they can't do that when you have the same management you know, you know what I mean when you have the same management so so, so the, you know the, the uh, um, they do that you know what I mean they they, they they say hey get together you guys will make a good couple like that you know they put them together to to you gotta sell tickets because you see. 
uh, um, when he's when he's in the game, the NFL makes sure that when, when Taylor Swift is there, they make sure they you know people buying jerseys, right? Her fans are buying NFL jerseys. They wear Kansas City Chiefs jerseys. They flooding the, 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 you know, they flooded, they flooded everything. You know what I mean? So we'll see what happens. They, you know, they, they're out there flooding the, 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 the stadium with, with, with um, Travis Kelsey's jersey. And vice versa, his fans also going in to, to, um, to buy, to go to a concert. But other than that, I think Taylor Swift is, is trash. She's not that talented. She's all right. I'm not I'm not being a hater. I'm just being, I'm, I'm I'm saying the facts. She's okay. Her music is just mediocre. You know, but I I felt that you know from a guy who's you know who's out there dealing dealing black girls and then you are done now you get married to to you know uh, you know that 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 thing is you know it's a little weird to me. But is he a great player? He is. But other than that, that's it. Um, Max Crosby, bro. Max Crosby telling the Raiders, <laughs> the Raiders about to, they, man, whoo. They're about to, they're, they're about to make a big mistake. Max Cros Crosby telling the Raiders, you better hire Anto Antonio Pierce. And, and and Mark Davis, Mark Davis listening to Tom. He's listening to Tom Brady right now. Mark Davis out there listening to Tom Brady to bring in Mike Vrabel instead of instead of uh, instead of giving the job to Antonio Pierce. And you about to lose the locker room. You already you lost the locker room with Josh McDaniel. Antonio Pierce came in and saved your organization. And now Mark Davis, you about to do the same again. <laughs> Uh, that is, that's going to be crazy. <laughs> wow. From what I'm hearing, from what I'm hearing, Mike Vrabel will be the next head coach for the Raiders. And it's going to be a problem for Raiders. See what I mean? <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, 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 that is, you know, I don't know. I don't know if you do that, but but Crosby and all the players, they they you know, they they know what they want. They want AP. AP better be the coach. But but the, but he's Mark Davis over here. He's listening to, uh, uh, um, you know, he's listening to to Tom Brady. To tell Tom Brady's telling him to go with Mike Vrabel because Mike Vrabel that's his that's his friend. So I don't know if you you know, but if that's what he's trying to do. But if you if, if that's what you want to do, you you you're gonna lose a lock on. This is the guy who took you, you know. They got you know, he had nine games left. He went five and four. They would have lost every game. And then and, and now you now you about to you should be rewarding this guy for for what he's done. Now I understand, I understand if if if, if you you know. You, you, it's a it's a gem all about situation, but even then, even then, you stay where you are. You know what I mean? You stay where you are. I mean, people are talking about Bill Belichick. There's no way Bill Belichick will go to to the Raiders. Going to the Raiders, that's something that uh, Tom Brady. <laughs> again, if Tom Brady is making a decision for Mark Davis, <laughs> and, I, and right now that's what it looks like, because he's telling him. Uh, uh, to, to go to go with Vrabel. Mike Vrabel is a good, you know, it's a good coach. Tennessee Titan made a mistake, of course, a huge mistake. All right, drowning over here. Tennessee Titan made a huge mistake. You know what I mean? If you ask me what the shirt says, consent is sexy, man. Consent is sexy. We're all about consent over here. But anyway, man, to to. Mark Davis, you know, Raider Nation. You need to call the, the, the organization. Tell them, you know, if they fire AP, well, well they're not, you know, they're not going to fire him. 
what they're doing is they're telling them, okay, we're not going to hire you. you as, an, as when, when you put the interim on someone, you don't have to give them a the job. They're just, they're, they're just a placeholder. Unless there was an understanding from the beginning, hey, you're just going to do this. No matter what, no matter what happened, uh, we're not giving you the job. And if, if he took that like that, okay. But 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 even for AP, uh, uh, um, the minute, if they don't give him the head coach job, he's going to the Giants as, as, as a new defensive coordinator. So he'll be all right. He will, he will go to the New York Giants as a, as a new defensive coordinator. But but it will be a slap in the face, though. After you took a, uh, uh, and um, you took a team that was, that was in the bottom of the pile, um, besides the Jets, it was bad. As a Jets, I'm always gonna say that. I'm always, you know, Robert Sala is trash, right? But besides the Jets, who was bad, he took a team who, who was bad from the Raiders to to, to he make he made them relevant, and now you 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 know you decide to to not give him the job. You're gonna give the job to Mike Brable. You listening to Tom Brady to tell you to do that? That's a that's a slap in the face and that's a huge mistake. Raider Nation, uh, uh, you know you know no matter you got you got coach you got player, but for me as a Jets fan, as a Jets fan, hey, <laughs> I, I, okay let let him do that because number seventeen will leave. He said peace out. You come to the Jets. I'll take them, and you, and you got Questby over here also telling you, hey. Let, a, let, let AP be the coach. Because that's what they want. And if you don't do that, if you don't listen to your players, you're going to lose the locker room. And that's and right, and right now, that's what it's looking, at. it's looking like that to me. And they trying to, they, they, you know, <laughs> uh, I don't know. Wow, man. That would be a slap in the face. You bring in Mike Vrabel, Mark Davis, man. You, 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 you know. I don't know what he's doing. I don't think this guy know what he's doing, man. <laughs> you listen to Tom Brady, you you you're gonna lose your locker room, and then what? Cause Brady's not Brady can't coach. Yeah, you know I man, Brady can't coach. So so then what? Then what? Anyway, man, you know, sports talk. Thank you, man. Thank you for the love. And, you know, we you know we you know we busy, man. We just we we posting a lot of content here, you know. And I hope you uh, uh, um, you help me get you know boost the subscription a little you know, a little bit, man. All right, thank you. I appreciate the love, man. Like, subscribe, and share. Sports talk.